next anyone good evening sir good evening sir this is rutuja i am from maharashtra okay good evening good evening good evening sir i am arpan from delhi delhi okay. good evening sir i am rashid from maharashtra good evening thanks thanks good evening sir i am i am from karnataka okay good evening sir uh, my name is pail i am from new delhi new delhi all right Good evening, sir. My name is Leah. I'm from Kerala. Kerala. Okay. Good evening. My name is Mumtaz. I'm from Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh. All right. Next. Good evening, sir. I'm from I'm Mehak. I'm from Mumbai. Mumbai. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, sir. I'm Vedanti from Mumbai. Okay. Two from there. Next. Next. Almost done, I think. Good evening, sir. I am Samrithi, and I am from West Bengal. West Bengal, nice. Hi. Good evening, sir. I am Anshika from Lucknow. Lucknow, okay. UP. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Okay. Good evening, sir. I am Anisha Banerjee from West Bengal. West Bengal, okay. Good evening, sir. I am Arijit Chaturji from West Bengal. All right, fine. So. Good evening, sir. I am Shaikh Mondal from West Bengal. All right. So major is from West Bengal. So, Good evening, sir. Raj Sagar from West Bengal. Oh, one more. Okay. Any more left? Okay, I think everyone done. Right. Fine. That's nice. So most of you are from West West Bengal. Okay. And someone from Mumbai. Okay. That's all. So good evening, guys. My name is Sumit Kumar Shukla. Okay. Uh, I am a director of my own company. For now, I am your mentor and I am an employee at Google. Okay, and I am from West Bengal. Okay, so let's start. See, uh, what we will be doing in our session for the next fifteen days is like the first hour, that is from six thirty to eight thirty, will be our session. Okay. So it is very important to understand how we are going to all through the process of all. Okay, so from six thirty to seven thirty, we'll we'll be dealing with all the uh, important lectures and you know, like the concepts and all. We'll be going through that, right? So the main goal is just to first complete up the every day's agenda. Okay. and in the remaining part after completing the agenda the remaining part will be the assignment part okay or the task part so there you just have to complete up the assignments or the task because those assignments and tasks will be giving you um your you can say on your points or your advantages you can say on in your internships okay you might have chosen internship program so you can get it there so that is important because what happens uh, for many a times we do the classes for 2 hours and then we give the assignments all right but students somehow miss those things some lags and all okay so for that what we have thought that we'll be doing 1 hour with the sessions and then 1 hour will be for your assignments and uh, so that you can easily uh, solve every questions immediately after the assignments are, uh, sorry after the uh, the sessions and you could so uh, yes truly say me how many of you know the basic score basics of the python like today will be an introductory sessions we'll be going through what is ai and understanding what you have chosen ai ml right so we'll be going through what is ai what are the types of ai how ai is important in this field how what are the fields you can go with this ai okay who one second yeah so yes tell me how many of you are really uh, good with the python language or like anyone who could define python language interpreter Okay, Omkar is saying I worked on Python. So Omkar, uh, till where you have worked on? So 
सर आई हैव कंप्लीटेड ओप्स ओप्स प्रोग्राम लाइक ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड एंड आई एम राइट नाउ आई आई एम वर्किंग विद द एमएलएस प्रोग्राम्स इन पाइथन सो या काइंड ऑफ मैटप्लॉटली वेल ऑल द लाइब्रेरीज ऑफ पाइथन एंड डूइंग विद दोस स्टफ्स ओके सो यू आर डूइंग द एमएल एल्गोरिथम्स Yes, sir. Kind of. Uh, not all the algorithms, but uh, uh, like uh, I have done pa- pandas. I have done pa- this ma- um, matplot dot, dot lib and uh, see once, sir. Oh, okay. So those are not ML algorithms. Those are the libraries used. Libraries of the pa- uh, Python's for the MLs, ML and AI. Yeah, those are basically used for the data science part. But when we yes, go, sir. but we when we go with the data visualizations, there we go with dealing with the plotting. For that we require matplotlib and Cbon, and for data manipulations we require pandas. So in your course, exactly. uh, I'll send your course module to you. In your course, what we are going to deal is with. Uh, let me tell you what all libraries we are going to cover in this AI ML part. Uh, is first one is we are going to cover numpy okay we are going to cover pandas we are going to cover open cv computer vision okay? we are going to cover uh, simpy how many of you know about simpy heard the name before okay this is such a library which helps you to uh, gain or which helps you to see mathematical expressions equations in the systems or which helps you to write down the mathematical expressions and equations symbolically okay we'll see how we are going to do all those things okay so pandas so framework ke sorry sir it is a framework based on python i think what exactly you want to say you didn't get it I have you you say about simp i think it is a framework framework based on python yeah so what it helps you actually it it is having it and many applications i am not clear what you say it is having many applications yeah like it can you give me one two examples for what purpose we use basically simply i think you have worked on for that what exactly we use for that it's like basically important for a cas purpose that's it when we talk about cas it's nothing but the computer algebraic systems that's all okay so its main goal is to enrich the symbolic mathematics and to work on the computer algebra system that's the only yes. usage of this simply okay this is a library python library okay okay so we are going to deal up with the pandas we are going to deal up with the numpy we are going to deal up with the simpy the scipy the matplotlib the cbon and all these things in much more detail the open cv we have one more the open cv part and the machine learning algorithms okay uh, we are going to go with the regression methods will be having projects on that and regarding the internship many of you have doubts regarding that so an internship uh, session is what is like that you will be given some projects okay i'll make you some of the projects like we will be doing projects on ml like uh, um, titanic survival prediction rs data set prediction uh, linear regression logistic regression models will be going on and you will be getting uh, the same projects not the same the uh, algos algorithm same you can say on like you will be getting projects on boston house data set and on different data set i have to look on what exactly the projects are okay so sir written project over sorry hame hame pdf bana ke dalni padegi usme 
बजट में ठीक है इसमें यस 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 यू हैव यू हैव टू पुट इट देयर लाइक फर्स्ट यू विल परफॉर्म एंड आई विल गो ऑन व्हाट आर द थिंग्स वी वी हैव टू डू देयर ईडीए एक्सप्लोरेटरी डेटा एनालिसिस सो विल बी डूइंग दैट पार्ट in exploratory data analysis everything comes out there like numpy panda seaborn mat everything comes so okay that you have to write down and that you have to like make it as a pdf and that proper format you will get before submitting so you also get a time good time like uh, two weeks or something i think uh, like something one or two weeks you get there for your project and after your projects i think uh, how many you have taken for microsoft examinations in your few it i take sir you have taken microsoft azure sir which uh, which was uh, like conducted last two days last last two days i guess no uh, like is this uh, so you have got any uh, like microsoft technology associate kind of examinations course also No sir. Okay, fine then. Mm-hmm. Like uh, the previous batch was having that. Okay, fine. So, all right. I can see some has taken MT exam. Yeah, I. Uh, that is what I am asking. MT exam. Hmm. So for the MT students, like you will be submitting your projects and you will be having your examinations and also uh, for MT I have uh, some special files you can say on. like what questions come in the examinations and all we'll be discussing in that too for mta students uh, we will have one more session okay so that you will all get good marks fine so uh, let's come to our topic today today's topic is to understand what are so i believe that every one of you is 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 25 uh, 420 21 22 students are there okay so i believe that you all know python okay no python in the sense we will be brushing up the skills of the python don't worry okay in the first two days we will be brushing up all the things the basics and all and we'll be going through various questions so that we'll check up how many of you have really done uh, with a good in the python okay so first two days for those who even don't know will be just uh, getting up to understand how exactly we work in python okay so today we are going to just know what exactly is ai artificial intelligence A- ml part is not today okay ml first we will start up with our python things okay then we'll go towards simp then numpy and all we'll go in one by one and after the pandas is being done then we'll will introduce ml part okay then we'll do computer vision you uh, computer vision is one of the important thing that requires also numpy so for that we'll complete numpy and all and after then we'll go with the algorithms of the machine learning we'll see what are the things regression okay classification clustering and all so let's start today's agenda and it is i think it should be this this what screen you can see in front of you white color or blue color what is it blue color blue color blue right okay all right this one mouse is moving up there Okay, so uh, where is my highlighter? Easy, 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 easy. Okay, let me get it right. So you can see the screen now. Fine. The second one. Okay, fine. So uh, first of all, I'll. 
get to know from your side what is artificial intelligence sir it, it is it demonstrated by machines it is artificial intelligence is also, also called machine intelligence means the intelligence demonstrated by, by machines okay anyone else so it is a branch of computer science where machines are made to think and act like humans hmm okay next good one um just a interruption sir will you be uh, recording these so we can like revisit these uh, yes. if these in lectures again yes for sure it is being recorded sessions are being okay, recorded so this is also recording you will get your recording link after the class of like after your class ends within 40 to 45 minutes you will get the link of the recording thank you okay so yeah next one what is ai here you think what way you think is the speak up uh ai is a branch of computer science in which we uh, make computer to mimic like humans like think like human uh this is predict uh, predict the future like uh, recepting the data from the past it can perform the ta uh, task in the future basically you want to focus on future <laughs> nice all right so ai is a technique that enables uh, someone say it it's a branch of computer science where you can do some kind of mimic of human behavior or someone say it it is the branch of computer science where you go with what you said uh, that girl said what you said can you repeat it once again so me yeah 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 uh, okay. so it is a branch of computer science in which machines are made intelligent uh, to think mm. and act like humans okay so basically two keywords i have got want to act like a human machines are being made intelligent uh, another word the same omkar i think omkar has said mimic act like human means mimic right so ai is a technique that enables machine to mimic human behavior that's a very simple definition and ai is the theory and the development of computer systems which uh, like which has been able to perform tasks normally require which require uh, human intelligence so the very important and interesting fact is when you learn ai you should be having hi that is human intelligent okay you must have human intelligence then only you can uh, give intelligence to something an artificial object so unless and until you have your own intelligence how can you make something intelligent so hi is very important okay so we will understand what exactly the things come when we talk about hi human intelligence what are the things which are being covered in hi we'll go on through all these things right so this artificial intelligence was first coined by sir john mccarthy in 1956 in the year of okay now if you ask me i'll say ai is the simulation of hu human intelligence done by machines which are programmed by us so the machine need to be learn how to reason and to do self uh, you can say self correction as needed along the ways so this ai which is artificial intelligence is com accomplished by studying how we think let us how our human brain thinks and how we learn how we decide to work how we work while trying solving a problem and then using these techniques these algorithms and all these methods to come with an outcome of the study on the basis of developing intelligent softwares and systems okay so let's continue with the artificial intelligence and understand what are the importance of these things okay so ai can be defined as the development of computer systems that are capable of performing tasks that normally require human intelligence and you can see this key word hi okay such as decision making object detection which we are going to learn not today right 
that is called as computer vision we will be going through that decision making is very easy that is basically the concepts of if and else right solving complex problems that comes along with the we can say mathematics section or anything regarding that datas big datas okay so on. so uh, the father of this ai john mccarthy sir has said that the science and engineering of making intelligent machines basically intelligent programs are said to be ai when i say i'll discuss further what is a normal program and what is an intelligent program okay so ai is the way uh, many a times what happens that when i ask what is ai students do say sir ai is robot we see when i say what is ai many of this is sir sofia so that is not basically we are not going to define things if you are asking what is ai they are giving an example of this ai we are not defining this right so it is a way of making a computer which can control a robot not like a robot that's it no so or a software which can think intelligently you can see right so it is accomplished by studying how we think human brain okay next so is ai and ml are same so your topic of the workshop ai ml artificial intelligence machine learning between those things there is one word missing can you tell me what is that word which one sir ai your your yes. workshop topic is something like one second there is this mice mouse hanging on one second yeah so your topic is ai ml okay so that is not looking good one second it ai with ml yeah so that keyword is called as with ml so why we say with because ml is subset of ml is an application of ai application of an ai subset of an ai subset yeah yeah subset part of an ai okay so this ai has got divided guys in three ways ai comes like ml which we are going to do is a part of ai and below this ml is something called as dl what is deep learning that is deep learning okay there we go with the concepts of ann artificial neural networks okay all these things you will get ppts all those th uh, materials regarding that okay even uh, you are going to get a book pdf book i'll share it okay uh, there you will get to know all the concepts because everything is not uh, possible to cover in 15 days right love it is very big topic so you uh, I'll give a book from my side so that you can go with that too. Every day is topic. So AI and ML are not same. Okay, from there you got it. ML is a part of an AI. Okay, so don't have confusions in these ways. Next, what AI consists of? So AI importance when we talk about importance of AI. So AI has made it possible for machines to learn from experience and to grow from, uh, grow to perform like you can say. um human like task human mimic behavior right a lot of flashy examples of artificial intelligence you will hear about like self driving cars chess playing computers really having on deep learning and natural language processing on um, uh, using these technologies basically computers can be trained to accomplish a specific task by processing large amount of data and uh, recognizing patterns in the data so there are a lot of areas which contribute to artificial intelligence namely like uh, uh, mathematics sociology right psychology uh, philosophy computer science uh, neuron science biology these are the areas where which basically ai consist of you can say okay now every area has its own advantage and if we look on more deeper of importance of this ai so ai automates repetitive learning so these are the keywords what i am saying if you want you can like write it there okay this ai automates repetitive learning and discovery through data 
everything is in the world right now is the work with the data so artificial intelligence perform frequent high volume and computerized task reliably and without fatigue okay this ai the very important thing is adds intelligence to the existing products in most cases it will not be sold as an individual application right so rather products you already use will be improved with ai capabilities like google assistant right was added it, it was added like a feature to the new generation of mobile phones now okay so ai adapts through progressive learning algorithms so and what it does it let the data to do programming so these algorithms become a classifier or a predictor someone says uh, from you someone said that what uh, they can we can predict uh, uh, like uh, predict the future or something for the task which and perform in future so that is predictors and just as an algorithm can uh, teach itself how to play any game uh, how to teach itself like to recommend someone uh, to give some suggestions kind of thing okay so these can be done using algorithms a lot of things are there and uh, what more you can say about ai can analyze more and deeper data using neural networks uh, what we have exactly in our brains right so that may, that may be very hidden layers that is a different concept basically deep learning so you need basically a lot of data to train deep learning models before um, they learn directly from the data right so a lot of models when you are training you are giving a lot of data and they they learn directly from the data when you talk about neural networks directly from the data they learn right so the more data you can feed them the more accurate results you have the more the data the more the accurate results the ai achieves incredible accuracy through deep neural networks which was previously impossible right uh, just before you can say 30 to 40 years so yeah so i just wanted to ask that uh, why is more data required like for predictions or anything of that sort okay fine good question see uh, data is required for much like when we say about the predictions we need to understand first of all that what are the uh, please mute your mic uh, we need to understand that what are the uh, views of the generation we can say for prediction see for when, when we say like we will be doing one project i'm giving a very real time example like we will be doing one project based on titanic survival like you know like the ship was down there right so we will be doing uh, that project so in that our main goal will be just to find that the passenger survived or not that's it yes sir okay so how can we get that based on various parameters we will see that the passenger has um, you can say embarked from a different place age was this um, uh, he paid this much uh, you can say the ticket fare to this and based on various thing whether he was male he was female you know uh, and various parameters will be there so based on that parameters we can judge that the person the passenger has survived so we can judge that but uh, we can see various things we can see various data but we need that data to feed to the machine so that machine can also understand okay if these are the condition then the people have survived if these are the condition then the people are not survived so the more conditions it will have the more understanding it will get okay okay so for that we require much data so the more okay. data we can okay. have the more okay. accurate results we can get okay okay so that is important ai achieves incredible accuracy through deep neural networks which was like previously uh, almost impossible all right so ai techniques from deep learning like uh image so limit nahi hai sorry sir is iske koi limit nahi hai for what 
विच लिमिट हाई लेवल कॉम्पिटिशन के केस में अगर कोई हैवी कैलकुलेशन आती है तो क्या उसके ऊपर लिमिट होगी कब तक कब तक कर सकता है Computations limit you ask me. For that limits that was not being developed like in case of uh, ML part or for that we have introduced deep learning. So in deep learning there is no such because it can carry a lot of uh, till now there is no such problems in dealing with those things. So for a lot high level computations you want to do you can go for in this neural networks. Okay. Like they have what exactly the problem comes? The problem comes of the uh, you can say the processing units, right? When we work on CPUs, there is a lot of pro uh, problems there. For that we have to go. Like right? the problems could come for those who are dealing with the deep learning things. They cannot do manually works on CPU because CPU is not meant for deep learning. You have to upgrade your uh, processing unit. So uh, the people go to GPU. graphical processing unit because in tens, uh, this uh, deep learning what you have you basically focus on image classification object recognition right like uh, let's say um, you want to identify something right uh, whatever in front uh, like if you are if you are using laptop how can you identify laptop you have seen some pictures of laptop before so that you can identify okay this is a laptop right so similarly if we want to say that this machine this machine this is an apple now how this machine can understand this is an apple i have to feed some pictures some images of this apple or some size of this apple what are the attributes of this apple so that machine can uh, for the next time can easily understand okay this figure is for a apple right so all the images classification object recognition takes a lot of size and all these things so the very important um you can say what you are asking for the computation right the very important thing is of the size and the processing unit and now that has been made very easy when you use google collaboratory and a lot of processing units are there like tpu google has got a very high processing unit that is tpu tensor processing unit which you cannot buy actually you can only work with the tpu on the google collab and that is meant for the deep learning only so the programmers the professionals all work there they you will never get any kind of um uh, problems regarding the storage like if you, if you have storage problem you buy the storage from google that's it right what there what will happen there the storage are being kept in the drives even you don't have to store on your mac uh, sorry uh, on your systems basically okay you don't have to store the files what you are doing on your systems all the things are stored in your drive so no we can say offline works okay everything is online so no uh, uh, problems comes there understood computation problem will never come there because processing yes, units sir. are very yes, fast sir. if if you are loading an image in cpu let's say it it takes around uh let's say it takes around 1.5 second okay so in gpu it will take around 0.7 seconds and they can um, estimated calculation i'm saying 0.7 to 8 seconds and when we are working with a tpu it will probably take 0.2 to 3 seconds so you can see the speed there so that is important okay yes sir all right uh moving next as the domains of ai Machine learning, neural networks, robotics, expert systems, fuzzy logics, and natural language processing. And we will go with the definitions of all. We will understand what are the things. Okay, one by one, we'll be going through all of these things. We have a different PPT for that. Now we'll go further. So yeah, uh, just before some minutes, I said that I'll talk about a machine uh, or a program which is intelligent and a program which is not intelligent. okay now with a very basic and simple uh, program i'll let you know let's say i have made a program where i'm going to uh, multiply right and i say 2 multiply 3 gives 6 okay in a system without ai i fed this program and is this in this system with ai one second
Okay. So in a system with AI, I also made this one that is 2 multiplied by 3 gives 6. Okay. Now what extra thing what we did in the AI is I have made I have given that uh, let it be white to work better. So uh, in this AI part, I have fed this machine that how to use this multiplication operator. And in this side, I have only given the question. This is the question. This is the answer. That's it. So if the question is 4 multiplied by 5, 20. So in this side, even if I don't feed that 4 multiplied by 5 is 20. If I say 4 multiplied by 5, it will give the result as 20. Why? Because it know that the use of multiplication operator. How to operate this? If you get two uh, variables or two numbers between a multiplicative operator, how to get the result? So that's a smart program you can say. And this is a, just a program where you can get the specific questions answers. Here you can get your generic questions answer. Okay, understood. The very simple thing. So something extra you give in the AI part. So even if you don't give this multiplicative option, what you do, you just feed the machines with some of like um, examples that 4 is 4 equals 16, 2 into 4 is equals to 8, uh, 3 into 9 is equals to 27. We just feed the machine that these are some of the examples. Someone asked why we give data. So this is a good example. Uh, you can give 2 into 2 equals to 4, uh, 3 into 6 equals to 18. So what machine will do now? That the AI machine will th see the pattern. What is this? This is giving result this. This is giving result this. And from these pattern, it will make one algorithm that something A and B, when get a multiplication thing, then that is A times B. That's it. Basically, right? So it makes automatically a relationship between the two operators. And that's it. What we say it as making relations or making any algorithms, building yeah, its own techniques and all. Okay. So I think that is clear how a system without AI work and a system. With... Now, if I ask with the system, what is the value of 9 multiplied by 3? It will say that I don't have any questions or any programs related to that. But if I ask what is the 9 multiplied by 3, it will say it's 27. Even if I say what is the value of 4, 4, 1, or what is this, 4, 4, 1 multiplied by 2, it will say. But this will not say. So I hope that is clear. Clear? Yes, sir. All right. So that is how a system with AI works and a system without AI works. Hmm. So that, yeah, someone else. Is system with M, M will, which one will tell and which one will not tell? Can you tell one second? System with AI will tell you the things and system, see, system, I, I, I don't say that the systems are not good without AI. Systems are good without AI. But systems can be more good with AI. Okay. So they are good before AI also they perform well. You give the questions, you will get the answers. No, there is no such thing. You will get the answer with the same speed here also with the same speed here also. If the processes, everything are same, if you get the results in 0 0.06 seconds, you will also get answer here 0 0.0, 0.6 seconds. It is not, okay. Uh, students also have this confusion that in AI, they get answers quick. It's not like that. If you are having the same machines and you are expecting that if this machine is an AI machine, you will get the quick answer. This is not. Okay. That is not the concept. In AI machines, you will get good answers. Okay. Which can be suitable with everyone. And in non-AI machines, you can get your answers what you have given. Okay. In AI, you can also get 
a different answer what you have not given that is not if if the machine is building its algorithm you cannot say that the algorithm is perfectly correct that's what we will be building the models we will be seeing that we are not getting 100% accuracy we will be getting 75% 80% 82% and that's it these are the best percentages you can say no one says no machine learning model says to give 100% accuracy if this is make if that is making 100% that is a wrong model we never say that is a good model if a model is giving 100% accuracy that means you you would not have given much data to understand the machine so if the machine does not understand much data it will give you 100% results based on your past results it will give you that so the machine will not understand anything this will give you, show you the results like a normal program does so a system with ai will give you all the results only if you tell something that this is this this is this or you give a lot of examples for the machine to build its own techniques that can work but in a system without ai only what you give you will be getting the answer so you have given three multi uh, two multiplied three you always you will always get the results very quick whenever you ask you have given this question you will get the results you have not given this question you will not get this result you only think right you say x is equals to 5 okay you print y will you get the result no you haven't given y what is y right you print x you get the results 5 it is that's it simple very simple you feed the data you get the results you don't feed the data you will not get the results that works in ai that's that's the thing i think that is clear so that means in a system without ai we uh, just mention the specific operation the specific results mm. and in a system with ai we mention the details of the operations yeah okay see there we also uh, okay there we give examples like uh, we give programs and we let the uh, we give actually the data that's it we have data okay. in pandas we will be learning what data i am talking about okay okay uh, like you can okay let me get a space yeah there is a space so let's say if this is a kind of an excel sheet Oh, okay, fine. So, okay, my drawing is not good so much. <laughs> All right, fine. So, uh, let's say this is the first row, and this is the last row, right? And I say that. This is what I want to predict, and I want to predict this on the basis of all these features. Feature means all these columns, okay? And in the uh, machine learning part, we say it as features. Okay. So we want to predict this outcome. Which outcome? This column. Based on all these uh, all these features, okay. So there might be various rows, various data. Let's say there are ten thousand rows, and actually we are going to deal with those data where we have some kind of these things. Okay. Uh, let me tell you what are the data we will be going through. We will be going through IPL data set. We will be going through Netflix data set. We will be going through. Uh, that. Hmm. FIFA data set will be going through. COVID data set will be going through. PUBG data set. If, if you are interested, then I will let you PUBG data set. Uh, various data sets are there. Hospital data set, a lot of things. So that you could be able to channelize things easily. Okay, so that is. So based on all these columns, we are going to predict. Okay, so you need to give all these features so that machine could able to understand. Okay, on these all these conditions, these are the results. Okay, let me once again come to come. Uh, where it is where it is? Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yeah. 
So machine will understand that based of all these features, this is the correct result. Based of all these features, this is the result. So next time when you give the features here, you will get the result. And that is not like you will get the exact result. You can get the result closely to that result. Like if it is 6, you can get 6.2 or even 6.5. That is also fine. You can even get 5.5, 5.7. But if you are getting 4.5, 4.2, that is a wrong result. That means your machine is not properly uh, grabbed the data. Okay. So that is thing. And in real world, the volume is very huge and next to imaginable. You can't even imagine what kind of data you have. You know, uh, when you talk on WhatsApp, when, when, you chat, when you chat on WhatsApp, what is the first thing you see in an unknown number when you text? You see, this is this. Let me make an interface of that. Yeah, let's say if there is a number, there is a backslash here, back arrow, there is a number, okay. And here's a video call, the calling option, and all, all those things. And what you get something here at the top. Okay. Many of you would be opening WhatsApp and checking there. <laughs> yeah, what is there? Before the message, from here your messaging starts. And all. So what is that? You see something called... End-to-end -end encryption. Yeah. End-to-end -end encryption. What is it? What exactly it means? That the chats are end-to-end -end encryption. No chats. Nobody else can uh, read those chats. Okay, nobody else can read those chats, right? Except, except, the, uh, except the owner, right, of the WhatsApp. So, when you are, like, chatting with someone, let's say, if this is first user, uh, if this is the second user, right, you are chatting, messages are going just, right, here to here. Now all the messages what you are reading, uh, what you are writing there are being converted. Let's say you have written H-E-L-L-O, hello. Now this would be converted as, uh, I'm just writing a normal code, 8, 5, what is that, L, something like, okay, 2, uh, 5, let's say 8, 5, 2, 5. Uh, now this code will be sent here and this this is now in an encrypted mode and this will go now here to be decrypted and again this will send so these are the things which are end to end encrypted now no one can see message from here no one can see message from here but let's say a user come here as a three that is not a user that is let's say a hacker what he does he actually transmits the signal from here to here and reads up the messages how using a method called as normal one phishing right that's a method basically to gain some signals from different places you might you might be uh, how that various websites are there like fake websites flip cards and all so right? is this a phishing attack yeah kind of you can say when when you make a um, I think it's a kind of a phishing. This one is uh, perfectly called as phishing or not. I, uh, but when you make a fake websites and all that is a phishing thing. Uh, this is kind of a. What do you say exactly is? Yes. So um, it's man, man in the middle attack. Uh, yeah, that you can say. Uh, like <laughs> I'm not much in that. Yeah, so it's the man in man in the middle attack. Yeah, so I have tried for one. Then he reads the data, hacks the data in yeah, between. Yeah, so that can be done. When we say that our data are encrypted, it's nowhere encrypted. Our data are not encrypted. It's nowhere that we are totally secure. It's nowhere. Yes. Uh, like Facebook, WhatsApp and all. These even sells our data with uh, 10 rupees, 15 rupees cost, right? So we can just <laughs> imagine that what is our value? 10 rupees 15 rupees that's a, exactly so how do we how exactly we get data recently government has banned this uh, what is that tiktok yeah so what that was using basically that was stealing data from the users and like uh, may, many uh, apps are there what are you what are stealing data from the user when see what happens when you download any application what you do 
you just are so much eager to use that application what happens we just install it and just open it whatever it asks allow 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 and we slide on for four times five times and we allow everything and then the application opens that's it and slowly slowly that takes your data right that can access your cameras that can access your microphones that can access your files your galleries and then it take out some pictures from there takes your gmails and all uh, like okay so you might be uh, having this practical experience like uh, in your emails even if you don't go on a website you get an ad of that website in your mail how you get that that is how company get everything right various company get everything from the data and that is what call as data stealing that is a crime actually but that is being happened so we need to feed uh, actually we get the data from various places like that only so we get all these data and we feed these things and if we feed more data we get more results so when you want when we work like when government works on various projects the government has released data when you when you want to work on like when a student or someone want to work on projects so there is a website data.gov.in have you gone through that whenever you get get time today also no, you go through that website which one which one kis is kidding sorry sorry what you are saying so can you please write it in the chat box yeah yeah i'll write it i'll send the link there are various government websites where you can go on your respective uh, you know like uh, i'll show you this website on the screen just after so after what about kaggle yeah kaggle is also a nice one you can get, you can get a lot of data sets on kaggle also okay so search of the things you can get the data sets from there there actually mm -hmm. what happens you get a lot of uh, data set on a one topic only like if you search for yeah. titanic data set you will get various kind of thing many uh, but what happens you have to only select the respective data set what is important for you many users what do they make datas a lot of datas like which is also not of not useful let's say if i if I, if i gave you a very simple example let's say you have an exam okay so that is important don't download all the data sets unwanted data you don't require why why to fulfill why to fill your hard drives and all let's say this is a result okay and let's have a practical thing these are the serial numbers student name marks percentage and the result pass or fail okay result that is important right now let's say if uh, my neighbor asks me right what is your result so if i only tell my percentage he will be able to guess whether i am pass or not right that is important no. if if i if i go to a let's say uh, cyber cyber cafe right okay so what i have to tell him my roll number he can find it there or whatever he required roll number data birth roll number name whatever if i say this is my school roll number right if, uh, if i don't say my board roll number i say this is my school number will he get the address uh, will he get the result no if i say my no. roll number like uh, 23 24 25 he will not get the answers right he will not get if you want to say anyone that whether you are pass he want to decide whether you are pass or not you will say this is my name now you judge whether i am pass or not so th these are the unwanted data so when you are making a model which can predict pass or fail we don't want the name why we want this this is not required anywhere this will not even affect our result name will not affect my school roll number will not affect okay even the more in the machine learning will see that we will give weights okay weights v e i g h t s weights that is called as percentage on the Uh, parameters or you can say the features that weights i will give more weight is the percentage because only with the percentage if even if it even if i don't have the roll number if i only say the percentage to a person he can judge i am pass or fail so that is important so the only feature which is important is necessary when you search on kaggle that is not a bad bad platform okay when you search on kaggle you get a lot of data sets so just don't download anything from there i am just saying that okay you see on the data set what exactly if you are making a project if you want some data search it there and you see what exactly the columns you want 
and then download it because there you get a lot of things unwanted even uh, when i was uh, doing a project i i searched for a football data set okay and i got almost around 53 columns for one uh, in one data it was 11000 rows and 53 columns i just skipped that because 53 columns what is required for that 53 columns who is going to go through all those things only the important things are being made right so there is a website called data.gov.in i'll let you make their go right after the presentation let's go with this for, for now okay requirement of ai in gaming section and natural programming section uh, nlp this google assistance alexa uh, siri and all right expert systems uh, don't say siri siri is now a like good name speech recognition and handwriting recognition is very much important very very much important. students and people even have this uh, there is now age now ai trend is going on right now and so does the companies are making fool a lot of people right a lot of people have been made fool with this ai world uh, some months ago uh, i was there in a shop i saw something there as uh, ai refrigerator i just asked him uh, what exactly is there in the ai refrigerator is it automatically set cooling effect and all so that is available from previous also there that is in various refrigerators and all what is the importance of this so he says it automatically consumes like it consumes less uh, kind of energy when it requires it sets its electricity accordingly it consumes electricity accordingly uh, i didn't get him exactly but i said okay that might be something new in the market ai refrigerator is there uh, you also see something ai quad camera nowadays what is the feature exactly in ai quad camera have you ever tried what is that this is the mobile phone there you open your selfie and you get something or in the back side you get ai quad camera or ai camera basically what is that have you ever tried see learning is different implementing thing is detect no, detects yes uh, anyone saying something detects detects the surroundings detects. according to that uh, the image will be clicked hmm okay fine so, like, like when when you say you are taking a group photo when when you click on group photo what happens various rectangles comes on the faces right so the mobile phone has got an uh, knowledge that when it is a group photo there are number of faces that's why we are taking a group photo so for number of faces we need to identify number of faces where it is okay and how google uses this when uh, everyone has a google uh, or a gmail account nowadays right everyone has it, it. classifies according to the face right so you click any picture that goes in google photos and it takes it from their faces it takes it in its own storage and it keep it, it keeps there right it keeps there right after let's say you took this photo on 12th december uh, 95 who is that yeah so after one year let's say after two years you see it on 12th december 97 google will automatically remind you like a notification this photo has got two years on your mobile or, or if you are a two years ago with this photo right like this like this also facebook also works okay so various things face recognition is very much important nowadays and this is like what ai does basically when you say ai mobile there are a lot of things power consumptions Uh, camera basically the camera is uh, like every phone is having ai camera nowadays if you see most of them nowadays ai tv ai refrigerator i can see everything nowadays coming as ai ai ai, AI cars uh, these are the far better things okay so we will talk about all those speech recognition ad writing intelligent robots are there these are the best best things okay yes now the fact intelligence 
what is intelligence okay now you can see all these things basically five most keywords important keywords reasoning learning logistic reasoning problem solving perception and these are totally correlated r l l p p that is uh, i basically call as l square r p square short short name l square r p square <laughs> easy if you can remember or if you can make it so your own one you can that's nice right p l square r p square l square r whatever you want right so see the ability of a system to calculate reason perceived relationships relationships like uh, if i say x plus oh that's actually bad x plus 3y equals to 6 so this is a relationship that x is someone is now x e equals to 3y this is a relationship of oh god uh, x and y we can say on so this is a relationship okay try to understand one second someone is there except yeah yeah all right next hmm so relationships right analogies learn from the experience learn from the experience we have seen learn from the experience like if you get all these things you learn from your experience this 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 means this 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 and then you get the results okay uh what is next there store and retrieve information only this is one of the factor where we humans lag behind lag behind this is one of the feature or the factor where we humans lag behind we do not have enough storage in our brain to store and retrieve all the information otherwise we are enough good for ai right we can solve problems we can learn from our experience not everyone someone learn from their experience some do not and for why we say compare within success and failures that is why we do all right we can perceive relationship between different things we can have reasons we can calculate right we can comprehend complex ideas if we do not then how do these machines are now in front of us right we can use natural language fluently classify generalize things and adapt to new situations not uh, very accurately but slowly we can be right so only this is one of the very important factor where we are lagging behind how many of you uh, go with me with this one how many of you are like actually accepting that this is only one of the factor is it so accuracy is also play a different role like uh, we can't uh, judge the thing like machine can do a job bit faster with more accuracy hmm yeah accuracy okay uh, that is what basically a definition of for a machine now let like, then if you go with that purpose that there can be a lot of things accuracy versatility um, various things can be there right so I i'm just saying that if we talk about the part of an intelligence then we say from <coughs> sorry <coughs> all these things we say store retrieve of uh, information so basically storage and you say accuracy that is also important and versatility that is right so these things otherwise we are also good <laughs> we humans are good in that so what is this five keywords reasoning uh, learning logistic reasoning problem solving perception what is this then let's have uh, let's say you have a problem okay now for that problem you need a solution Now for this problem you need problem solving this one so this is down okay and for these problem solving when you go through the process you would also having us some perception to solve it empty next so in that perception you would be applying first of all your reasoning you apply something reasoning in that reasoning there must be some steps which require your logistic reasoning 
and at last you solve the problems and you learn something. So all is being empty and that's what exactly intelligence, oh sorry, H-I, human intelligence or you say I exactly, intelligence. So from that I, you apply, that is called as human, human applied it, human intelligence and this intelligence then humans feed in artificial objects which are called as AI. Clear? Okay, writing is, writing are not good, but still uh, everyone is compatible or I have to make it more clear. See, because that is like a small window, a kind of screen where I have to write everything. No blackboards and all. So, okay, it's like easy or I have to make it fresh and then write. I think that is fine. Okay, going next. Intelligence stages. Now these are important part, right? When we, when we talk about that, uh, we have AI. Then we have AI stages. AI intelligence stages. The first one is ANI. Then we have AGI, and then we have ASI. Let's go. Uh, ANI is called as artificial narrow intelligence, which is also called as the weak AI. Weakest AI. Okay. And why we call it as the weakest AI, we'll go through that in detail. When we'll learn about the types of AI, there will be going through all these the, the, uh, types and different things regarding the AI. They will be going to understand. Okay. So this is a, a stage where you see the the programs or the machines what you have made have been just set to perform a limited task. Right, a limited task. Limited task like uh, they cannot go broader and broader. Okay, like for example, let's say uh, if you ask Google Assistant, if you ask Google Assistant like uh, who made you, <laughs> let's just take a very quick uh, question, who made you? It will say I was made by a group of intelligent members at Google, right, or sometimes maybe different answer, but not every time. If you notice, you ask only one question with the Google, right, one generic question, don't ask for something regarding the Wikipedia and all, okay, one generic question you ask and you will get various answers, right, like hardly you can get six to seven answers for one specific question and then she will be giving you the only that six to seven answers repeatedly whenever you ask okay in case of Siri in case of Siri what happens now this has got very uh, good results but and sometimes Google gives you some results at least it gives you some result like uh, it says okay uh, this is like uh, this could be the answer this could be the answer even if it is wrong it, it tries to give you something but in case of Siri, what happens? It just directly refuses. I don't have any options for that. It just says, sorry, I am unable to do. Uh, I have tried for this for a very long time. So it just says, uh, I am unable to do that. Right? Okay. Those are the things. But everything has got its own compatibility to learn up there. Everything is different in all. We'll go in AI and IASI and AGI in details. So for skipping for now, okay, we'll go to understand what the types of things, super intelligence. These are the things what you see in the uh, movies, kind of uh, sci-fi movies, no, where things are not done, where things are done, sorry, where things are done, but in real life, they cannot be done, right? If you have, uh, how many you have seen, Dr. Stranger? Yes, sir. Yeah, you see there the world what is that basically right so in movies it is good right to see but when it comes to real life it is something a stage which is actually if it happens then we are not going to control we cannot control it then right because that is that and that those were the humans right so that was the uh, different thing but when machines go on these things there is no such capability on for the humans then to uh, like 
uh, control those machines. However, this can also be seen that machines can also be controlled. Uh, what movie it was? Uh, I think it was it was robot, robot movie, where the machine was like in an uh, unsuspicious way, right? It was going in something different manner, but somehow the actor have managed to control it. But and if uh, like uh, we all just pray that this all this situation never comes, right? Because there is no solution for that. Because if machines get surpass of the human beings, there is no such capabilities to drag it down or to bring it down or to control over that machines. Because when machine will learn and learn and learn, when it will learn totally, that's why we don't give 100% accuracy to any models. Because if we give 100% accuracy, that means it will be able, totally able to, uh, you know, like uh, read your brain totally. If it is a DL model, we'd never give accurate data. I'll show you. I have some drives where we have done animal classification. We give 3,000, 4,000 images of pandas, dogs, cats to make the machine learn that this is a dog, this is a cat. So that for the next time it never makes a mistake. From different angles, from different attributes, various things matters. So when you make models guys, never try to bring, don't be like, uh, I'm not getting 100% accuracy, you will never get. If you get your machine, uh, your project is bad. Okay. Like uh, many times uh, we do try, when uh, like when we were learning, we were trying to make such a model which can have 100% result and we also did it. But when we did it, uh, like uh, our professor asked us, uh, like uh, how many data you have taken? The very first question. We said uh, 10 inputs. He said very bad. So we really took only 10 datas, only with the 10 datas, you know, like only 10 rows, that's it. So if you have only 10 rows, you will surely get 100% result because there is no data. 10 rows is nothing, no, nothing. It is like if x is equals 5, y equals 10, x equals this, this equals this, what is the value of this? Obviously, you will get the correct result, right? So if 10 data is there, obviously 100% result will be there. So we were very happy at that stage. Students were having 76%, 64% results. We were a group of uh, seven members. We were so happy with 100% results. Two times we have tested, sir, 100% results is coming. <laughs> so I was saying, how many data? Say it's a 10. So, so his reaction was like, uh, you are trying to make something very big, like with a very less data, right? So when you are trying to make a big thing, use big data. Okay. We will also do with that. I'll, I'll uh, make you that program. I always remember that program. 10 data input that is very nice okay so if you get 60 to 80 percent of accuracy that's nice okay every time that is fine with models yeah when you apply different algorithms you get some results like five percent ten percent not five is greater two three percent five percent greater or lesser you'll get the results according to the algorithms right if you are getting with regression 62 you will get with knn uh, sorry not knn the SVM. With the SVM, you might be getting it at 767, 68, something. Only 3 to 5 percent changes. All that. Okay. So, that are the stages. Uh, you might be knowing this reactor machine, <coughs> sorry, developed by the IBM Deep Blue machine, which was used to play chess games. Okay. And it defeated the Russian chess grandmaster Gary Kasparov. You might have know the name but 19 uh, it was something around 1969 what is that uh, sorry 90, 96 and 97 so it was like nice okay and then we come with limited memories tesla driving cars what happens there the machine has got the knowledge when there is a right turn how to take the right turn when there is a vehicle when there is a breaker how to go with that so in these things there we have predefined knowledge the machine has got predefined knowledge how to work on different situations okay so that is how it acts up accordingly next you know this
Sophia, theory of mind, to make decisions, ability, and various things. Even she has not got 100% results accuracy. She'll get, she will just surpass her uh, owner, trainer, whatever you say. So things are there, self-awareness, you might have seen in various stages, uh, like uh, self-awareness, very good example could be uh, like, uh, like if you consider yourself, right? When you know that something is going to be bad, what you do, you ignore that thing or you don't go even there. Let's say uh, a very automatic behavior is like, let's say if your uh, laptop battery is 10% and it is giving you warning that keep me charged, keep me charged, otherwise I'll shut down. If you don't charge, what happens? It shut down. Right? And sometimes what happens, the very bad thing, you work, right? And meanwhile, right, in between your work, sometimes a very like when you work in your windows, right, what happens? Sometimes a blue screen comes and it displays your PC runs into a problem, and we are restarting it. See, that is a very worst thing. How many you have been experienced with this? No one? Yes, sir. No one has got has experience. Happened a lot of times. Yeah, if no one has got experience, then you must experience this. <laughs> this is very... Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. we were someday, someday we were working on a project and we were just about to complete it. And we haven't saved it, right? What happened? Uh, it was just like we had a tea break and suddenly we saw your PC ran into a problem and that was restarted. So the whole one week uh, work was destroyed. We have to work. So these are the things self-awareness. So PC has self-awareness that something is getting wrong inside me. I have to restart myself. So it automatically restarts even if you don't allow. So in, in that case, even if you press anything, nothing works. It will restart. That's it. So these are the things. Okay. Now coming to speech and voice recognition. See, uh, many mobile phone companies say that they have speech recognition capability. Many say I have, uh, no, everyone says even like speech have, no one says I have voice recognition capability. When we say voice recognition, uh, this is something like a great one. Let's say this is a laptop and you say some passwords to open this. Okay, this is not like exactly a laptop, but somewhat kind of so you say some password you basically let me make a speaker yeah fine so you speak some password to this and you speak even your name and the machine listens and then it opens is that the thing no so the machine first if if there is a voice lock in any thing right what happens first of all voice lock is very much secure but not always because there are so much now skillful person so much of like they can even make your voice so there is no such security even for this see what happens the very first is in the speech recognition we see what was spoken like if your password is cool so the if you say uh, if you come and say uh, anything other than cool, auto, obviously it will not take, that's a wrong question, right? But if you say cool, the first test, the first test is the password, what is being said, what is being said. If it is cool, first test pass. Okay. Next comes voice recognition. Where it say, where it see who is speaking. Now when we talk about who is speaking, in that case, when we say who is speaking, in that case, it relates to the voice. Relates to the voice. What the first time voice was taken up. You, you might have seen in Cortana, uh, when you install, it says speak these lines so that I can get you know. Sometimes you say 
this, 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 and say, hi, hello, your name, and so something like that. So in second time, if it matches with your voice, then it's okay. That's locked, unlocked, and you are in. That's it. Nice. But if it not matches, it not nice, then bad one. It will not give you access to that. So speech recognition, someone, uh, everyone says you have speech recognition. Speech recognition is nothing but guys, if you say, uh, like, let's say if, if your mobile is um, unlocked with your voice, you say, you come and say, cool, it unlocked. Okay. Let's say you are uh, somewhere, if, if you have very privacy in your mobile phone, someone says and says, cool, it will unlock. What is that privacy then? when you have voice recognition so these are the things what comes sometimes in mobile phones when you say voice recognition that means it will match your what and who it analyzes the person's tone voice pitch and the accent basically to identify a person okay and this me this needs a training this does not need a training does it need a training? You go to Google Assistant, you ask anything, you just say anything in the in, in your uh, microphone, it will write it down and search then. Do it ask you that? No, I, I haven't been trained for that. If Google Chrome is trained for everything, then uh, obviously it will take charge from you. Like, uh, what is that AI one? There is some AI uh, application in the Play Store which has got charts. What do you know the name? It's something in the egg shape, cracked egg shape. What is that name? I'm not getting. My Incognito. Uh, no, it has got very small name once again. AI. Replica, replica. Like made by Luca. So it is a paid one. Right? So when it is a personal AI assistant, it will take charges from you. But when it, it is not a personal AI assistant, it will not take charge. Google Assistant is not a personal one. It is available to everyone, everyone can access. You know, like uh, if you have made your phone, that like when you say hey Google, it pop ups and it asks what can I do for you. You just ask a question, it gives you the answer. Let's say you are in a meeting, I say hey Google, it automatically says pop up. It happens. Right? So that is not voice recognition, that is speech recognition. So that is not being trained. That is not a train, that is that's an option you just plugged in there and uh, whenever you say it will die. Right? So anyone who asks for Google Assistant with his or her voice, the Google will search for her. Google will make the necessary search what he or uh, she want. Right? But in, when it is a, a voice recognition, it will first say to unlock the phone and then it will work. So these are the things basically. So I believe everyone is... So any other examples of voice recognition? Voice recognition examples. Biometric. Attendance. So but that, does it require your voice? I think it requires the fingerprints. Fingerprint, I, many times their device needs microphone also. There are devices. Okay. Like it, uh, sometimes device takes voices some uh, sorry sometimes it takes your fingerprint sometimes it scans your retina sometimes it takes your voice even the total face okay okay so uh, these things are there cotton even works on sometimes voice recognition if like you are training that things then it will work on voice recognition yes sir that 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 what that's what i was asking does cotton cotton come under voice recognition or speech recognition? No, first it first it will ask regarding you like 
voice recognition it works partner works on voice recognition okay okay the like google voice yeah. not google assistant google voice Google Voice is a service like which works on voice recognition. Okay. Amazon Echo is there, and various things are there. Like lot of examples are there for voice recognition systems. Okay. Okay. So there are different things. Speech recognition is something different. Voice is different. So don't be misconcept with that. We many times things get misconcept. When you say about car, automatic voice records and all that is a speech one. But most of the cases you will see it also as voice recognition. But that is not voice recognition. See, because in voice recognition you need end-to-end -end training, like end-to-end -end encryption. A person should be there to have its training, and only one person can be there for a voice. Okay, and here it does not need training. Any speaker, it's not a speaker dependent. See. So that is the important facts. You you will get many places. You will get um, examples of various thing at various places, even on good websites. This is voice uh, assistant. This is a voice recognition. But that is not exactly. If it works with one person, then it's a voice recognition. That's it. If it is not working with one person, then it's not a voice recognition. So obviously, when sir, you, yeah, sir, I tried Cortana. No? It's not under voice recognition. Yeah, so it's not coming under voice recognition. No, sir. Okay, then it might be not there, right? Because see, Cortana gives you some lines, as I said, that speak this, speak this, speak this, and whenever you no, say, okay. then it uh, like gives you hello, hi, your name, like for the first time when you say this. Like in my Mac, so, it happens. It is having certain additional settings. Yeah. Like where that, it that recognizes the voice. Yeah, it has certain settings that I'm saying. You have yes, to sir. enable those things, and then it asks like <clears throat> I think three to four lines are there. I have used that, so three to four lines are there to go through that. Like in um, yes. Apple, it happens. You speak okay. up there, and then it like matches with your voice. Sometimes, if you enable ma voice, it has. Yeah, we have to manually do that thing. Yeah, so in in the systems, if it is there, voice lock. Then you have to train that. You have to speak up there. Yes. So if you don't speak to Cortana, these lines, how can she know? Or how can it know that the, this is your voice, right? So yes. that needs end-to-end -end training. At least one person should be there to train that machine. But with the case of a Google Assistant, it it is not like that, right? It would also ask you to speak this, 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 but it can recognize uh, if, if, if you say exact keyword, it will take. Hi, hello. It will say you there. So replica is there something on the Play Store, which is a personal AI assistant. Like uh, I have seen there in the Play Store. I don't use that. But, uh, that is, I think. Hi, uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Uh, so if it it can recognize a voice, can it actually replicate a voice as well? It can ask a voice to say. If it can recognize a voice, mm -hmm. can it? Can, can can it go further and replicate it? Mm, like what you want to do with that? Uh, so, uh, I mean, if uh, by, by voice recognition, mm -hmm. uh, if it recognizes the tone and the pitch and the accent yeah. of a voice, yeah, can it also uh, further go and speak out with the same voice? voice? Yes. Would that not be a data key? Can it also speak out with the same voice? You asking? Yes, yes. Would that not be a security breach uh, if the data falls in the wrong, wrong hands? Mm -hmm. So, see, what I have seen like in machines, the only thing is there like it catches your voice, that's it. Now, where these voices are stored, that's it. That, that is to be found out. If you can find out where the voice is stored, you can just go and play it, you will get your voice. Okay. Alright, sir. You make programs. Let's say you make programs. You have specific locations where your uh, your program is loaded, right? You go to that location. You get your program. If, if this thing uh, conceptually, if you are speaking to machine, if the machine is recording your voice, 
some somewhere it should be keeping it there so that the data should be there somewhere so that it analyzes something from there right so for that voice recognition machines have its own different kind of things in every uh, machine so it's not like voice recognition kind it's speech recognition okay because you go find all the things if you have a file there for voice recognition where you got you can get your voice whatever you have spoken if the machine is asking it's just a process basically if the cortana asks you that speak these lines so let's like uh, understanding how you speak and all those things right it's not like recording your voice if it is recording in mac it's recording i have seen that in this uh, in my laptop it's recording and i have seen that but it, it is not like work because the formats this uh, in this we are use v c and something like that so these are not compatible with any other thing so you cannot use it somewhere else you can then manually record and if you want you can use but that is of no use basically so these are the things i think yeah research in ai expert systems comes in the flight tracking systems previously the flights were basically hijacked nowadays we have remotes we can easily land the flights just sitting in our office right clinical systems are there google now features speech recognition automatic voice input yeah this is the keyword what we say automatic voice input automatic voice input is there that is most of the times people say or have believe this as a voice recognition that is not a voice recognition that's a speech recognition right okay neural networks are there pattern recognition systems face recognition character recognition handwriting and all uh, yeah, we'll see a data will i will give you a data set mnsit basically robotics a lot of things are there fuzzy logic all these things okay so these are the parameters these are the features what are being used by the ai okay so uh, we have seen i uh, i said i'll talk about these things narrow intelligence the narrow intelligence is an artificial intelligence system that is designed and trained for one particular task one particular task okay now your virtual assistants like amazon alexa apple siri google assistant all these uses narrow ai let's say see i'm giving you just quick example here see uh you can see my screen one second Yes sir. yes sir let me show yes, you sir. the total screen one second it's giving a practical example see this is siri okay um, i'm speaking out something like that 95% sorry i can't do that hey, can you see that sorry i can't so what is that 95% exactly So I haven't given the correct command. If I say, uh, once again, set brightness to ninety percent. 